Hey, you only spend a lot. I'm just wondering about this three-in-one body wash shampoo conditioner. I don't really see a world where a single product can do all three of those tasks at once. You should only hit the button if you need something unlocked. I love when shows and comedy specifically can be as real as possible, because then it feels like the jokes really are just people being funny as opposed to jokes written for actors. How can we never talk about the 15 million views that I've gotten in three months, Mom? But why can't you profit off those views? I can't profit off of it because it's not my beat. It's just a beat I stole online. That's you why I can't stole even... it? Wait a minute, what? My initial goal with Lil Dicky when I started rapping was this is a way that I could get noticed for being a comedic presence. If you see me going like this, Get the fuck out of here. No, you, <laughs> you have to, yeah, with me or I look corny. People always ask when they see a show like this, how much is written, how much is improvised? And the answer is both. So we write a script, but you're always then prepared on the day to let these really talented actors say it in their own way. I guess there are like three times a day where I say something so potentially absurd that I do need to like say, is that okay? You did the little dicky thing. Appreciate that. Nah, that's some gang shit, man. But my heart's always in the right place. Like crib shit. If a group of blood saw this picture, will they have an issue with me in any way? There's a lot of non-actors, like Gaeta's never acted before. Gaeta speaks in his own music, and there's nothing I would even try to write. And each take is different, and each take is a masterpiece. But what I'm saying is, there's way too many chemicals on these shelves for my natural dread locks. But you look like a head and shoulders type of dude. Andrew Santino, who is a very in-your-face, extremely funny stand-up comedian and actor, and has kind of like a natural edge to him. Also last night, I chopped it up with the most famous rapper I've ever met, uh, uh, Todd Dillerson. Ty Dolla Sign? Taylor, who plays Dave's girlfriend, is really like a grounding force. You know, she's the one that hits all the emotional beats, but then, you know, she likes to play around. She likes to run with things as well. Okay, cool. That's a stand-up boner. I love you. I love you. As silly and juvenile as it can be at times, um, it's actually, pretty emotionally grounded. A lot of times we wanted to make sure we were doing our part in kind of redefining what you would expect from a TV comedy. And that meant, you know, mining some real areas, sometimes uncomfortable areas. We're closing in on Friday for John Levin's memorial. Oh. That's the kid that died. Mm -hmm. Yeah, very terrible. Cops have no leads at all. He wasn't murdered, Dave. The show is kind of a look into a guy trying to make it. Right, and in this specific instance, he's trying to make it as a rapper. So you get a gleam into that culture and that life and what that's like as a suburban, upper middle class Jew trying to be a rapper. <laughs>